Hi, my name is Tara and today I'll be showing you how to use vinyl with your fonts to make a bumper sticker. Today I will be using the Calligraphy Font Bundle from fontbundles.net. I will also be using one of their free fonts from Font Bundles. So to do this, I'm actually going to show you how to get a free font from fontbundles.net. First of all, go to the internet. And as you can see, I've already gone on the page of fontbundles.net. Now, every week they have a free font to offer you. Um, I'm going to go to free fonts and scroll down to find the font that I would like. And I'm looking at using either Hot Deals or Tragic Marker, which is both free fonts through font bundles. I'm going to click onto Hot Deals. And as you can see, you offered it for free. And you can try that font here. So I'm going to download it onto my computer. Mm. Once you've downloaded your free font, you can click out of there and go to where it would have gone to, which in my case is Downloads. You can see that Hot Deal font has, um, has installed into my download folder. So I'm going to right click on it, Extract All, and press Extract. You can see that your font has come up. I'm going to double click. And there is the font that I'm going to use. So I'm going to click install. You can close all that off now once you have installed your font. The next thing I'm going to do is open up Silhouette Studio. Please ensure that you have Silhouette Studio closed before you install your fonts because otherwise if you try to access your fonts after installing them and you've already had Silhouette Studio op open, um, it will not work. So make sure that all your um, programs are closed down before you install your fonts. So then when you reopen them, the fonts will be available to use. So I'm going to double click on Silhouette Studio. And as you can see, it is loading up. Once you have loaded up Silhouette Studio, it's now time to write your phrase for your bumper sticker. I'm going to use the phrase, don't worry, be happy. My kids love that phrase and I think it will be really nice on the back of my car. So I'm going to do them in two different fonts. So I'm going to write, don't worry, in one font. I'm then going to click the text box again and write, be happy in capitals. In a separate So they can be two separate text boxes, as you can see here. I'm going to highlight both and I'm just going to fill them in so you can see um, what I'm doing. There you go. Um, okay, so the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to use the font from the calligraphy bundle from fontbundles.net and that is called Lonely. So I'm going to go to my highlight the words don't worry, go to my text style and then type in Lonely up the top. And as you can see, it has brought it up. The second font I'm going to use is the one that we downloaded for free from fontbundles.net and that one is called Hot Deal. So again, I'm going to highlight what I would like to type into Hot Deal, go to Textile, type in Hot Deal and you can see it comes up. These two fonts look quite nice together. <clears throat> so I'm going to then adjust them to how I would like them to sit. And I'm going to make them both a little bit bigger so we can see them. Now, I like these two fonts, but I think that the don't worry should have a little bit more character. So I'm actually going to then now use the glyphs. So we need to type in lonely here. So we know we've got the correct font selected. And then I'm now going to click on character map and get that to load up. Once it's loaded up, you need to find the font that you're currently using, which is Lonely. And select it. Go to Group By and select Unicode Subrange. 
and then go to the pop-up box, scroll all the way to the bottom and click private use characters. This will now bring up all of your glyphs that you can use with this today. So I might change the Y. So I'm going to look for a nice floaty Y. I quite like that one. So I'm going to double click on it, select it and copy it. I'm going to click out of the character map. I'm going to double click on my word. I'm going to delete the word letter Y and press control V to bring the new one up. Oh, it's come up twice so we can delete one of those. I might change the letter T as well. So again, I'm going to go to character maps, find the letter T that I would like to use, which is a glyph, which is going to be that one there. Double click. Make sure you delete anything that's in there previously. Double click. Copy. Go back. Double click on your word. Delete the letter you don't want anymore to replace. Press Control V. And you can see that the glyph has automatically come up in your word. So now I've got both. I need to make them fit. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that. I think I might actually have it this way. And then that can swirl across. Once you've decided the size that you would like of your bumper sticker, you can group them together. And this currently is 21 centimeters long. I might make that a little bit bigger to go on the back of our car. And to save and not waste any vinyl, make sure you place it at the top. So when you cut it out, it doesn't waste the bottom part of the vinyl. If you're happy with the way that your bumper sticker looks, go to cut. And if you go to adjust cut mm -hmm. settings, make sure that everything is highlighted as you can see there and then go to vinyl now i will be using um, avery 500 vinyl which is actually a removable vinyl because i like to change the stickers on my car um, you can also get an oracle um, i think it's a 521 or 4 526 which is a permanent um, in avery the 700 avery 700 is permanent mm -hmm. Or if you're at a craft shop, you can pick up the Silhouette brand vinyl, which works quite well as well. I tend to find that a setting 2 with speed 5 and thickness of 10 works really well with the Avery 500 vinyl. And then you go ahead and you cut your file. Make sure you read the rest of the blog because that will show you how to apply your bumper sticker and by using transfer tape onto the back of your car. Thank you.